Hey guys, it's Colin. I've been riding around the last half hour or so, and the reason I got out this evening, and it's only, what is it time? It's almost 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock and it's still light out. It doesn't get dark for another hour. Perfect time to ride. Anyway, I got out for a little bit because I wanted to test something. You notice anything different about me? Anything I'm wearing? Come on, look, look. I know my visor's different. And if you're really good, you'll notice that I change windshields sometimes here and there. Sometimes I have a dark one. Sometimes I have a clear one. Today I have a clear one. But look closely. I finally did it. After years and years of waiting, I bought myself a mesh jacket. That's what I'm wearing right now. So last year, it was about a year, year and a half ago, when we went to the West Virginia meetup, there was a gentleman and his name's John, and John is uh, one of the guys that does the Loud Pipes podcast. So with that, uh, I actually roomed with him. Normally I get my own room, but for some reason uh, we roomed together, and I noticed his jacket he was wearing. And I've always wanted a mesh jacket. Now saying that, I have a mesh leather jacket, but I don't have anything else besides that. And I will tell you what, the mesh leather is extremely uncomfortable in the high heat. You know, like if it's 60 or 70, it's perfect. But once you get above like that 80, 90, uh, you're dying. So I wanted to get something with a lot more airflow that was light, um, that had good abrasion, you know, because the mesh jacket that I have didn't really have any uh, padding, didn't have any, excuse me, any armor. It uh, really wasn't rated that well for abrasion. So knowing that I want to step up my game on uh, some more gear, especially like my jacket. I always wear a helmet, I always wear gloves, I always wear nice boots. There's two things that uh, I need to really work on, and one of them was a jacket, and the other one is jeans. Now, I still have my blue jeans on, but right now, uh, I wanted to invest some money and get something really decent uh, from a textile or a mesh jacket. So I asked John, and uh, he had this uh, Olympia jacket, and I remember texting him a it's about three weeks ago, and I'm like, dude, do you remember that jacket? I, I'm looking into one. I said, you, you, you spoke nothing but great things about it. And he told me it was called the Air Glide 5, and that's what this is right now. And again, my main reason was I wanted proper airflow, or a lot better, so I wasn't like dying, while having a heavy jacket on and having something that had pretty decent uh, abrasion and it had some padding in it so I've got some armor so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, end up heading home here shortly and then I'll take it around and I'll show you what this jacket looks like why did I do this in front of a pool because it's really hot and I'm gonna jump in as soon as I'm done with this it was about close to 90 degrees out there when I was riding with this so this is kinda like the best way to show you guys is put it over this chair and uh, talk about this uh, great jacket first again it is the air glide 5 and it's pretty darn cool, no pun intended. Uh, some good things about it here. See that big Cordura? That's a nice touch. This is uh, made from, I believe, 500 denier. Denier, denier, I can never pronounce that right. Denier, if you don't know what that is, it's a unit of measurement that measures the thickness of material to make this. And the Cordura, which is made by DuPont, is the actual material. And uh, the higher the denier, um, the more like abrasion resistance it's going to have. So if like this had a one denier, it basically would be silk, like a strand of silk, and that would be bad. So with it 500, it's kind of like middle of the pack. Uh, there's jackets that up there, they're a thousand, and then you're going to get more abrasion resistance. But with this one, it's still pretty solid. Um, so a couple of things I wanted to point out. It comes with um, some CE, and I believe this is a level one armor. It's not the higher end armor, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. It has a back, and then you can't probably see this, but it has elbow right here. And it also has in your shoulder. So there's three places. There's two on the shoulder, and then there's your back. And one thing I really, what turned me on to this jacket is that it has three layers. Now, right now, you're only seeing the one layer. That's just the actually basic jacket. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you guys the other one, uh, the other two pieces. And what's really cool, and this kind of separates it from the previous models of the Air Glide, is uh, they have a rain jacket that's built in, or you can take it out, but it's actually, you zip it up into the inner, and you can wear it on the inside, or you can wear it on the outside. You could wear it as a standalone. But if you ever get caught in the rain, um, you can just take that out real quick, put it over you, and you're done. So that way you don't have to pack it, but if it gets too hot, then you can pack it. But let me show you what that looks like. Here's the rain jacket. Pretty cool, huh? 
You flip it around, it's got the reflective material on it. Also, I didn't point it out, but this has high reflective material. It's not high vis, but it has reflective material all throughout the entire jacket. God, I can't believe I forgot half this stuff. I'll come back to this in a second. So some of the great things. Now, this is designed where you can get the pants. Like Olympia makes a pair of pants. I think it's the it's a number lower with the pants, so I think it's the Air Glide 4. I didn't get the pants. Eventually, maybe I will, but I'll probably end up getting riding jeans before I do the pants. Uh, this can connect to it. Um, but it's got a lot of places where you can adjust. So a lot of the individual jackets, you can tighten it up in a couple different spots. Uh, you can also do it on the elbow. So if you want to cinch it a little bit tighter around the elbow, and then obviously around the wrist, you can do it. And they've got it in a couple other spots too. And it has a lot of pockets. Uh, it has uh, one, two, three, four on the front. And this is just in this jacket and they have more pockets than the other one. So let me take this out and now let me show you this thing right here. So this is the actual rain gear and um, I like this because it has two waterproof pockets. One here and then one here. See this is, it's really hot out here and I'm sweating so I really need to get in this pool. But what I like about this, again the big, the best part, and I already tried it on and I thought it would be too small because I, I, I'm, I'm almost 6'4". I weigh 200 and what do I weigh now? I think I've gained a little weight. Um, I'm about 225 and I have a 34 inch inseam. So saying that, uh, this jacket fits me perfect. Um, I got the 2XL. I thought it might be a little large. Uh, it may be just a hair in the shoulders that it's a little baggy, but other than that, uh, it's perfect. I mean, I again, with the adjustments, I can fit this thing. It's fairly lightweight. I thought it would be a lot heavier. Now, when you have all of this in it, it definitely can get heavier, but I like this rain jacket. It just has the Velcro right here um, that you can, it also, also has a zipper that you can zip up. It has a, a pocket as well, and so that's another feature. Now, let me show you the third layer. This jacket's designed for three seasons, and normally I'm not a big winter rider. I ride some, but my predominant main types of riding is spring, summer, and fall, so this is a perfect jacket for me. And because of the three layers, this jacket can actually probably go into a little bit of winter, uh, maybe a month or two right in the start of it, depending on where you live. But it has a, this is like a thermal part that you can hook to that original mess jacket. And then your rain jacket can go over this on top of the other jacket. Now, if you didn't want the rain jacket, this connects right to uh, the main one. And I like this. Now, this is, sorry, Olympia, but this is a joke. They've got these on both this one on the thermal and then they have it on the main jacket, this little uh, place for a mobile phone. Seriously, it looks like it would fit a flip phone. Like I have an iPhone uh, 8, it's not even come close to that. But the good news is if you have like a charger, like a battery charger you need for camera equipment, it fits perfect in there. So there is a positive, but I don't know why they don't just make that bigger. But so this is a thermal jacket. So like in, you know, in, the, in the winter months, you can take this out um, and it'll be pretty toasty and as you ride through the day if you you know start getting hot you can shed this and then you could shed your rain jacket and then you have your normal one. I'm trying to pull off that cool pose like me by the bike. It's not happening at all I know. Uh, here's my take on this jacket. Absolutely love it. Fits me very well. As I said earlier I'm almost 6'4". I have a 36 inch waist and 34 inch inseam and I love how that you can kind of cinch it up and adjust it. One thing I did notice as I was riding for the, like the first 10-15 minutes in my motorcycle position, so I had my elbows were dragging down a little bit. I'm like, duh, it's you've got more armor in it now, so it's going to weigh it down. But once I got used to it, it really wasn't that bad. And here's how I t my take on this: you get what you paid for. This is an expensive jacket, expensive in my opinion. It's two hundred ninety dollars. And there's other jackets that are obviously a lot more, and there's others that are less. But for the money and the amount of stuff you get from the rain jacket to the thermal to all the CE padding, I think it's a pretty good buy. I mean, I'm gonna put some money into some good gear. You know, like with this helmet here, this is an awry. Spend a little bit of extra money, but it gives you that kind of secure feeling. You know, you get, again, you get what you're paid for. So hopefully this video was helpful. You know, I know it wasn't a super professional review, just kind of like my take on the jacket. And I will tell you, I highly recommend it. I'm very happy with it. I'm looking forward to doing some long trips on it. So thank you for watching. Get out there and ride. Be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.